So playing Call of Duty Vanguard as you do, most people don't realise this but my main goal is to and always has been to either run around knifing or run around sniping. It's always been my goal too, I mean it's the way I have fun playing Call of Duty, if I was to run around sweating with MP40s or the usual, I mean it just gets boring after a bit so I like to challenge myself and do something a little different. And the Vanguard is no different at all. My aim is to get diamond and all snipers as well as those marksmans as they can also act as a sniper, especially the SVT-40, which is my baby. But in actual fact, trying to get diamond on the marksmans, you obviously have to get gold on all other marksmans. That's a G43 as well as the Grand, I believe it's called. Grand, we'll call it. I can't remember the name of that thing. But I had a seriously hard time with the G43 because for me it was a weapon for the majority of my playtime using it, it was trash. That was until guys, I started experimenting with it. And well, I figured out a build which basically allows this weapon to be for the most part a two tap on anyone and everything, anywhere on the body. It led to me actually loving playing with the weapon. And it's the first weapon within a long time within Call of Duty, not being a direct sniper, that I am seriously enjoying playing with. Today guys, I give you people this build, either for fun or if you're struggling and in need to do those camo challenges and get this thing in gold. Because trust me, I know your pain. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so on the screen now you can see footage of this thing in action. I won't lie, for the most part I play on shipments because I love that close quarters action. I love running around my sniper in that close quarters. I mean, I get melted most of the time and probably leveling up a marksman isn't smart doing it within this but for me i think it because you get so many kills in such a short amount of time it makes doing a lot of the challenges much much easier and i won't lie i developed this build for this map this short close quarters map but when it comes to needed those long shot guys you know i think it's like 35 meters plus put a scope on this thing i recommend a zf4 3.5 zoom this thing absolutely a obliterates a mouse all at long range no problem at all I mean, you see a couple of clips on screen now me just mounting people it kills them so fast it's unreal again though like i said people this thing i would consider op not quite on the level of the bard mp40 or the combat shotgun but in many many instances this will for sure outgun those weapons but yeah this video is for those people like me out there who like these marksmen play the kind of reserve place that i play don't like to rush in or if you're in need of this thing in gold and you're struggling to either the long shots or the bloodthirsties or anything like that this is for you okay so the weapon itself you can see i've called it the g43 delete because what i did was i created this well, I didn't. I just come across this build. I mean, like I was just experimenting, and I come across all the attachments, messing about, and I thought, "Wow, this is an absolute monster!" But I realised that at two for certain camos, you have to change the attachments to obviously unlock these certain ones. So that's why we don't delete, and I created one at the bottom as well, which I changed around for the uh, certain camos that I needed. So yes, the actual um, the build it is and what i will say is as well the one problem with this weapon i will say is you run out of ammo extremely fast so if you want to use the ammo crate thingy for your field upgrade it probably makes sense. it's probably why I, should. I just should put it on i don't know why i don't I don't know why i don't um the gameplay you were seeing in the background i actually recorded live I've got 148 kills in it i mean i just burn people mold people with the actual weapon itself because i ran out of ammo i switched to my shotgun ran around got my attack dogs died rinse and repeat the process absolutely ridiculous that was on shipments as well by the way okay so the actual build itself okay so we start with the uh the muzzle is mx silencer simple as that the barrel zp 770 millimeter precision now this is the second one i like these i mean this doesn't make much of a difference but it's just what i like to play with but this is a absolute must for sure 
Optic reflector, I mean, the scope you can use, it doesn't make no difference. Like I said, if you're going on long range maps, this one here is quite good. But if I'm honest with you, I mean, any any scope, I mean, because you're zooming in, you're firing. As long as you've got a decent decent uh, view of the enemy, don't matter. Uh, stock ZP MS02 Custom. This one's the bottom one you get. I'm not sure what level you unlock this at, but you know. Uh, proficiency, we have the quick scope and the kit we have fully loaded. Rear grip, we have the triple grip. Simple as that. Relatively in the middle where you unlock it. Uh, magazine, we have this one right here, which is an absolute must on this. Absolute must. You can see we give uh, get a plus two bullet velocity and range, uh, bullet penetration and that damage. It says the recoil control and accuracy is a minus five, but let me tell you, this thing is so stable, it doesn't make no difference. FMJ rounds is what I like to use just in case a couple of targets run at me and want to fire through them. Uh, especially a lot of people like to uh, sit behind uh, walls and that as well. So yeah, FMJ definitely. I mean, you could go FMJ or lengthened, but I'd go FMJ. And then we have the under barrel, which is this one right here, which is the very bottom one again. I mean, a lot of these give a uh, recoil control or accuracy. So yeah, this one gives you plus two recoil control. Ain't got to worry about aim down sights. We're not quick scoping with this at all. So yes, guys. Just experiment with the ones you haven't got. But I'd say the definitely the main two are these ones right here and the barrel. This right here. I mean the rest, I mean you can mess around with, but you do want to work on that uh recoil control and accuracy. So whatever you can do to put that up until you unlock what I've got here, just do that. And I guarantee you guys, this thing will absolutely melt. I mean it's that good, it's unreal. Not even gonna lie, it is unreal. But yeah, you saw the gameplay in the background. You'll see a live video well, when I recorded it. I uh, put that on my channel too, uh, just to see just how. And it was literally the first game I come on because I played recent Search and Destroy. And my mate said to me that thing just mounts. You should definitely make a video on it. And I thought I don't even post Call of Duty videos like this, that, and the other anymore. I was posting a little bit of fun because there's nothing else to post at the minute. Uh, but. Just using this in, in Search and Destroy, absolutely obliterating almost everything at that range. My mate said, oh, I'll make a video on it. So yeah, I thought, you know, what? I'm going to jump on. I'm going to record my first gameplay of the day. And that's what I got, 140. Yeah, that's actually the most I've ever got on Shipmas. <laughs> Craziness. And I got it mainly with this, to be honest. But obviously the kill streaks count as well. And the shotgun, we'll actually switch to that. Because, you know, when you're in that ammo, people. Because I was a noob and I weren't using the... Uh, a supply box but yeah there we have it guys that is the weapon like i said if you're trying to get a diamond diamond on your marksman's and you're trying to level up obviously all the marksman's to gold then this is going to be uh, something you're probably going to need and I, like i said it's great for long shot kills as well absolutely obliterates uh, as well as close range you want to get the blood first is as well this is perfect for that so yes guys the end of the video has arrived and i hope you enjoyed it and it helped you out if you did leave in a like it really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i'll see you on that next one